welcome Richard. Richard is uh, one of the guy where I met in Geneva at the LinkedIn local in Switzerland. And it's, it, it's quite a long time ago. It's about one year. And yes. we, have, we have done a lot. So uh, Richard, very welcome to this short talk, to the optimizer talk with the free quotes. Thank you so much, Bruno. Yeah, it's, it was December last year when we met in Geneva and um, we had a lovely time there. It was, it was really good fun and uh, a lot's happened since. So it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for helping me on here. Yeah. Very welcome. So the first quote is from the roots to the fruits. It's a quote of my best-selling book. Um, do you agree with or do you have any other opinion about <laughs> Well, my understanding of the quote, Bruno, is it starts with what you're putting in the ground. It starts with the small things to get the fruit ultimately. And what this represents, if you look at it philosophically, is a stoic way of thinking. So mm -hmm. people like Seneca, for instance, are, are, are really rooted in, to use your word, in this kind of way of thinking. I am like the poster child of stoicism. Uh, I absolutely stand behind it. And I will sacrifice so much immediate term pleasure to get an end result that I know it has a greater gain. So um, a really good example of, of me kind of believing in this is um, very early on when I started my business, um, you've got to appreciate when I left the corporate world, I had a wife and new baby. Mm -hmm. and mortgages and two cars and like so it had to be some money coming in mm -hmm. and i remember thinking you know it, it's very, very tempting to go you know what it's too difficult i'm just going to go find something else to do or you're looking for the easy wins but with no exit yeah. or safety net or help what you have to do is put in the hard work and i very rapidly realized that if i genuinely wanted to harvest something so get the fruits mm -hmm. in your pile exactly. then i would really need to sow the seeds and you have to manually do them yourselves and the truth is is very obvious for mm -hmm. everyone but no one wants to do it and that is getting <laughs> getting on the pitch you know yeah. getting into into the basics and manually doing every little thing yourself and it's been the way I've worked. I, I've always um, focused on making sure I'm correctly l sowing my seeds effectively. And mm -hmm. when I get the fruit, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a weird thing, Bruno, because when I get the result <laughs> or the fruit, it's not a like a thrill and a big success. I'm like, okay, good. That's what I expected. But I'm focusing always on the roots uh, yeah. because I know the fruit will come. So I don't focus on the fruit. I know the fruit will come by focus on the, 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 the sowing the seeds. That's the main bit. I, so cool. Thank you so much for sharing this story, Richard. Mm, that's fine. And, by the way, I love uh, Zeneca. It's um, one of uh, the most interesting people. Well, his book on the shortness of life, mm -hmm. without a question, has been the most profound book yeah. I've ever read in my life. You can see behind okay. me, there's a book by this guy called Bruno Egregor in there as well. <laughs> I read it last week. But I, I have like floor to ceiling bookshelves everywhere. Yeah. And by a long way, that book, it mm. matters the most. I dip into it every month because understanding that we only have so much time and mm. you have to do the right things and not focus just on urges. Uh, Absolutely. It, greater good is really important. Cool. So thank you so much. Let's go to the second quote. The client aren't the kings, the kings are the employees. How about that, Richard? Uh, so it's a good one, contentious, if you're a fan of Amazon. If you read Brad Stone's book, yeah. um, uh, The Everything Store, you'll know that uh, Jeff Bezos' approach is to the point where even the employees mm -hmm. are getting upset, it is customer relations only, customer focus. So, so even if they are losing out, the customers win. However, on balance, I feel that I, I don't take that view entirely. Mm -hmm. There is this, there's this ebb and flow between customer and, and, and employee. And I am second to all of that. Okay. And the truth is that you cannot 
move forward or grow unless you have a team that's really bought in. In 2004, I w had my first team management job. So I had six people uh, running a sales team. And I quickly realized that it wasn't just about looking after them day to day. I'm spending my waking hours mostly with these people. So mm -hmm. it's about actually being a parent, sure, but also being a servant to them. The more you invest and develop in them yeah. and forget the fact they may well leave eventually and mm -hmm. focus on giving them, not doing the job for them, of course, but giving them everything they could possibly have. Mm -hmm. What happens is they want to work better for you. And that makes sure they're bought into your, your story. It gives them momentum. And honestly, the best people I've had on my teams in the past mm -hmm. have been the ones where they've had the most from me because they feel like there's this sense of I'm being so looked after, I would want to work hard and do a good job. And you get the best from people when you give them everything. Yeah. Uh, and, with, and that's like, there's no exceptions to that i really th i i think you're really on point but it this it isn't binary because mm -hmm. the customer is so important as well yeah <laughs> that's uh, just to be clear the customer matters too it's very polite also <laughs> i am being diplomatic yes <laughs> richard let's jump to the first uh, quote um how can I, it's it's very easy and short People or entrepreneurs who are just running because of the money, they never will have enough money. How about that, Richard? Yeah, if you, if you go back to the root cause here of why, what's their motivation or driver behind just getting the money, it, it's rooted in the, the fact that humans are hardwired to revere status. And status matters because it gives you a place in society because society matters to us innately. Mm -hmm. And so you want to buy nice things. But if you're the kind of person that's doing that, you are always the type that typically compares with other people. So you can never buy the fastest car because someone buys a better one. You're always chasing. And money is a device. Money is a tool to allow you to move to a place where things can make you happier. Mm -hmm. I've never found, and I've been, let's be clear, I'm authority on this because I've been in jobs, in sales jobs, Bruno. Mm -hmm. I've been in jobs where the focus was making money for me. So in, like 15, 16 years ago, it was how much money can I make this week? Was yeah. the I was only 22, so that's kind of what I was like back then. But what I've learned is that it's ironic, and I, this is the biggest message or takeaway, I think, on this point, is if someone can understand that their focus should be on impact mm -hmm. for an audience against the thing they genuinely care about. You're clearly passionate about this world. I am passionate about mine too. What happens is, is you end up being happier. And that sounds cute, but you end up being happier. And as a result, you actually make more money. I make more money now than I ever did focusing on money. Yeah. So it is, a, is, and you're right, you'll never have enough if you're already focus, always focusing on, okay. on money because there is never enough. So you've got to focus on things that make you happier mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, money is just a device. It doesn't get you anywhere. But that superficiality is hard to overcome because we are hardwired to, to be impressed by status. So we have to push back on it, don't we? Uh, cool. Thank you so much, Richard. You're welcome. I, I like the, the picture to see the money like a device or a tool. It's it's helpful. Thank you so much. Hopefully. No, you're welcome. It's not a bad thing. It's just a device. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish you a lot of good devices, stories. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> absolutely. And you. <laughs> Thank you. The money then, of course, as well. Thank you so much, Richard. See you. Bye-bye.